because it's the end of the month and I work a dead-end job where I get paid peanuts. <sighs> That's not a figure of speech, by the way. Then why are we even here? Because I asked for an advance on my next quarter, and they said yes! Great! I know a place where you can get a full shopping cart for 25 cents. It's called the 1860s! But not if you're shopping for a good deal. <laughs> What's she doing? Sniffing out a bargain. Your mom's family always had the super ability to save money. I mean, she had a bowl haircut until she was six, but her parents didn't want to wear down a good bowl, so technically she had a doing a handstand in a pothole haircut. Aisle 13. <laughs> Corned beef. This can can be opened by women of reasonable intelligence with limited male supervision? Well, they're from the 60s. But look, only 20 cents for the whole palette. I guess times were easier then. If you're a man and not a minority and were comfortable with the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. Huh, how things have changed, huh? Mm, yeah. Hey. Hey, this is our food for the next month! Back up, lady! We saw it first! I grabbed it first! Just leave it already! It's ours! <laughs> Dad? Mom? Oh, I can't believe it! Yeah, you'd think that finding a tooth in this can would have put me off. And yeah. I meant, how could you kids invite them to the house? Because we deserve it, Mom. Think of it as a gift to us. Oh, true. I can't deny you the right to know your grandparents just because of a grudge. What? No, I meant that they owe us hundreds of Christmas presents. I really thought I raised my children better. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. We'd profit much more if they bought one awesome huge lump present instead of a bunch of crummy ones. <sighs> Come on, let's give this another chance. Okay. Just promise me you'll be good this time. I can't just promise that. Why won't you open up? There's so much bad history between us. I mean, we stopped talking over 20 years ago. Why are you always so hard inside? I guess it's a way to protect myself, but you're right. I'll try my best to be open. Thank you, Richard. Uh, any time? Why does it feel so sticky to cut it with a knife? What? Oh, hang on. I said the atmosphere is so thick you could cut it with a knife. Maybe I'll join them and try to lighten the mood. <laughs> Hey, how about a joke? I like my coffee the way I like jokes about the way I like my coffee. I don't. <laughs> oh, that's just like my Wow, oh, no, that's the second worst that joke ever went down. It's not you, son. They just blame each other for what happened between them, but no one really knows whose fault it is. It's like potato patatwa. Who's to say which is wrong? There's only one way to find out. Of course, a backyard royal rumble. Last one standing gets to name the vegetable. I mean, we asked Mrs. Mom, Grandpa Daniel, and Granny Mary to air their issues, and we'll decide who's in the wrong. And then we... It's pronounced potato, and no one's doing a Canadian destroyer off a shed in the backyard. <sighs> okay, I'll start. You have always been disappointed in me. Only because we loved you. No, because you always had insane expectations for me. Like how you made me wear those ridiculous clothes my whole life. In life, you have to dress for the job you want. Don't you think you started a little early? Congratulations to both of you. It's, uh, <laughs> CEO? Well, you're hardly easy yourself. Remember that finger painting you did for Mother's Day? Hmm? Huh. Hmm. <sighs> Well, maybe it all comes back to the stupid name you gave me. Uh, what's wrong with Nicole? <laughs> Nicole is my middle name. My first name is Doctor. <laughs> <laughs>